Hey, all, it's me, Michael Anthony Giudicissi. Welcome to All Things Billy the Kid. And uh, today, I want to share with some uh, something with you that you've probably never seen the original of before. And I want to thank the person, uh, probably privately, I guess, <laughs> that shared this with me. Um, there's nothing wrong with sharing it, but uh, this is the kind of thing where you've either read a transcript or you have... Um, seen a photocopy of it that's almost illegible and this actually was the first time i've seen it and so uh let's uh let's get right to it what do you say this is the original letter from miss geneva Pittman, niece of brushy bill roberts to joe bolan of the uh, billy the kid outlaw gang dated december 16th 1987 so not that I, it is a long time ago <laughs> actually when you think about it it's uh what it's 36 years 37 years um that is a long time it just doesn't seem like a long time to me because i grew up in the 80s <laughs> Um, but I've never seen this original until recently. And uh, so I wanted to read it with you and uh, break down a couple things in it. Um, and uh, again, this is to Joe Bolin, who uh, obviously had written to uh, Miss Pittman because uh, asking questions about brushy Bill Roberts. So let's read it as best we can. Dear sir, the reason you are not finding my family is you don't have the right name. My grandfather was H.O. Roberts married to, uh, it looks like it's supposed to be Sarah, Sarah Elizabeth uh, Ferguson on May 14th, 1876. So H.O. Roberts marries, that doesn't look like Sarah to me. It looks like Shara, Sharon, Shara or something. Um, I always did think it was Sarah, but married to S. Elizabeth Ferguson on May 14th, 1876. Well, if H.O. Roberts was the father of Brushy Bill Roberts, um, he still could have been born in 1859, but it would have to be by another woman. And Ms. Roberts um, or Ms. Ferguson would be adopting a uh, pretty well-grown boy, a 17-year-old boy by that time. Oliver P. Roberts was Brushy Bill's name. So this is where the uh, uh, a contemporary, this woman actually took care of Brushy Bill in his later years. He lived with her for periods of time up to a year or two years at a time. Um, but this is where a contemporary says, this is Brushy Bill's name, Oliver P. Roberts. Um, I think his family member would know, but I'm, I can't be a hundred percent certain. So, uh, we add that to the file of, we think, uh, we think this is the truth. Um, I don't know what the F was for. Uh, there's plenty of F's been used in my direction. <laughs> so I think I know what it's for when it comes to Brushy Bill. Um, he was born August 26th, 1879, August 26th, my cousin David's birthday as well. So um, here we have in writing a contemporary that says uh, Brushy was born 1879. Uh, Billy's killed 18, uh, July 1881. And so Brushy would uh, be not yet two years old at that point. So probably didn't spend the night dancing at a... Uh, uh, you know, at a, at a dance somewhere in Fort Sumner or Sunnyside, uh, and probably uh, still had diapers on. <laughs> but, um, and then it follows with the key phrase, I have the family Bible record. And the one thing we don't have is we don't have the Bible. I do have a uh, written um, where Ms. Pittman rewrote that page of the Bible or that the page that had all of the births, deaths, marriages, etc. She rewrote it and it was given to a museum, but it is not the actual page from the Bible. We don't have a photocopy of that. We don't have a photo of it. And to the best of my knowledge, no one has ever seen that Bible. Um, I had tried to reach out to some uh, relatives of Miss Pittman who has passed on sadly and got no response at all from them. And my question was going to be, is this family Bible still available? Is it, could somebody see it? Could we see a photo of that page? Um, it would go a long way towards cementing it because here's somebody that says I have evidence, but doesn't show you the evidence. 
that's like me saying, well, it is, it's exactly what I do. I say, Hey, there's something going on behind the scenes, evidence being developed, but I'm not going to show it to you because it's not mine to show. I believe the Bible does or did belong to Ms. Pittman. Um, but we've never been able to see it. So does it really exist? Well, you'll have to decide that for yourself. Uh, continuing, my husband thinks I uh, should not tell you anything unless I know just what are your intent, your interest in my family. So Ms. Pittman's husband said, Mrs. Pittman at that point, I guess, uh, says uh, her husband advised her, don't give out any family information here. What is going on? Um, you know, this is 1987. Brushy is um, uh, it exposed, <laughs> brought to the world in 1950. So it can't be a total secret. Alias Billy the Kid comes out in 56, if I remember right. Um, but then there's a long dry spell, a long drought for brushy believers, um, until the eighties when, uh, you know, the, it's back in vogue, the story of brushy Bill Roberts. And so now people are trying to figure out what's true and what's not. Let's go further. A William, a Tunstill from Roswell, New Mexico and Tunstill, T-U-N-S-T-I-L-L. Not Tunstall, no relation whatsoever, just a happy coincidence. Uh, a William A. Tunstall is also writing me asking questions. Uh, I have not uh, with, again, hard to read. I have not written uh, with back. I have not written something like that. So uh, Mrs. Pittman has been, uh, Tun Tunstall is a brushy believer um, and he's reaching out, writing letters to her, wanting to get information as well. But she has not written Mr. Tunstill back. Um, he also has come up with a Ben Roberts as my great-grandfather, who was something in settled near Austin, 1835. Uh, again, you see this, um, this little mark on the paper, probably not the, the best choice of stationery. Um, uh, Austin, 1835. I would like this to be settled as I know my uncle Oliver was not Billy the Kid, Mrs. Geneva Pittman. And again, December 16th, 1987. So well within the purview of uh, many of our memories. Um, I don't know who added the emphasis to this last line. I don't know if it was Joe Bolin um, I don't, or uh, Ms. Pittman, but and it looks like it's written over something that's typed here in the background. Um, but what I do know is somebody <laughs> felt it important to emphasize, I know my Uncle Oliver was not Billy the Kid. Um, as I said, Oliver spent uh, much time with Ms. Pittman in her younger days. She He needed to be taken care of. And, uh, and he would stay with her for months, year at a time uh, on a couple of separate occasions. So she certainly knew him. All right. So here's the letter. It's a, it's a great treasure for anyone, whether you're a brushy believer or not. Um, it's, it's historical. It's by, written by someone from Brushy's family that spent time with Brushy that knew him. Is there any reason for Mrs. Pittman to lie about this? That's probably a great question. Like, let's look at the motive behind it. Well, at maybe, I mean, I, I guess it could be. The first thing is you could go, wait a minute. Uh, uh, Ollie Roberts was Billy the Kid. I don't want that kind of publicity for my family. And so I'm going to make up some stuff here. And I am going to uh, uh, let somebody in charge <laughs> know so that they can, uh, you know, call off the dogs and leave my family alone. That's a perfectly plausible explanation. Um, again, people seem, many people today seem to be fascinated and, uh, there are hundreds, thousands, maybe of people that all claim lineage to Billy the kid proudly. I don't know why. I mean, I, I look, you're related to whoever you're related to. You have nothing to do with that if they came before you. So I don't know what, what there would be to be proud of, but, um, but there's a lot of people that probably would not like to be related to Billy the kid. So that's a potential um, what are some other reasons why somebody might falsify 
a letter like this. Um, and, it, you know, for money, I, I don't think so. I don't think there's that much money in the Billy the Kid world, despite uh, what people think about uh, the authors and filmmakers getting rich off Billy the Kid movies. Um, that's really not happening. So I don't think that, you know, money would be a driving force. Um, spite, maybe? Um, is there a faction of the Brushy Bill family that's so proud of uh, being Billy the Kid and they mistreated the other half of the family who wasn't proud of being related to Billy the Kid? And so maybe Mrs. Pittman spitefully wrote this letter to try to steer people away. Again, it just doesn't sound plausible. So you could just say, well, she's uninformed, right? How would she know? Well, she spent time with Brushy. That we know for certain. Um, they were family members. Uh, she says she has the family Bible with those records, but we haven't seen it. Uh, so I don't know if we can do that. Um, maybe she's got William Tunstill on one side and the Billy the Kid Outlaw Gang and Joe Bolin on the other side. And uh, she wants to see who's... <laughs> Who's going to come up with you know a uh, better fight to see who can win the identity of Billy the Kid? But the, if if you read this, it's not it's not long. It's it's not gone on and on and on. Um, it's pretty simple. There's a couple of interesting things uh, in here that we should go back to. Um, you are not finding my family as you don't have the right name. Uh, if we go back to the episode uh, for all of our channel members that saw the uh, episode discussing the uh, the uh, uh, origin <laughs> of uh, uh, William Morrison's uh, finding of Brushy Bill. It wasn't from Joe Hines. It comes from a, a Roberts down in uh, uh, Texas. And so uh, that Roberts was uh, dismissed by Mrs. Pittman as not being uh, part of the family. The grandfather that they're talking about is H.O. Roberts uh, or Wild Henry, I guess, whatever you want to write, and marries uh, Sarah Elizabeth Ferguson, 1876. So if you're looking for Brushy through the Roberts connection that Morrison made through his uh, legal uh, um, uh, relationships, that's apparently not the right one, according to Mrs. Pittman. And uh, she also states that Oliver Roberts, the, that's the key name. That's the one you'll find in the census over and over, um, was Brushy Bill's name, Oliver P. Roberts. Um, uh, actually, it looks like F. Roberts. Uh, yeah, it is. She has it as Oliver F. Roberts. I've seen it as Oliver P. Roberts. Could that one initial be enough to throw the whole thing off? Yeah, sure. I guess Oliver Roberts is not that unique a name. Um, but Oliver Roberts was Brushy Bill's name. I don't know what the F was for. So if you follow the census record, you'll see that Brushy is listed again and again and again around East Texas, Arkansas, every 10 years as a, uh, as a, you know, farmhand, a laborer, um, not as a famous desperado. And he happens to show up in every single census um, in Texas and Arkansas, not in he's not in the Shetland Islands. He's not in South America. He's not in uh, Montana or Wyoming riding horses. He's not in New York City. Um, every time that they come to find him, he magic. Even if you believe that he adopted the name Oliver Roberts, they magically find him in and around East Texas. Uh, even though he spent, you know, <laughs> like 80% of his life on every far flung locale in the world, he must have run back for the census and then run back out for whatever his, um, whatever his uh, 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 proclivities were. Um, okay. So uh, what do you think? Why do you think the letter was written? It reads to me like somebody that was actually just telling the truth. Now, I don't know why she wanted it straightened out or settled other than I just want to be left alone. I don't want to get letters from you and from William Tunstall and from whoever. Um, I want this thing to be settled. Uh, and it was not settled. Uh, it's still not settled, according to, you know, people that believe in Brushy Bill Roberts uh, as of 2023. But Mrs. Pittman has passed on, as I said, um, but she or someone was emphatic, as I know my Uncle Oliver was not Billy the Kid. Well, if the information in her letter is true, that's absolutely 
Uh, true, because Oliver, Uncle Oliver, was born August 26th, 1879, and would have spent time with Miss Pittman in the 40s. Um, and so he would have been in his 60s at that time, you know, 50s into his 60s, um, starting to uh, deteriorate a little and uh, really unable to, that's why he got married so many times, apparently, unable to care for himself and had to be with someone. So um, there you go. The original letter, uh, the one that has sparked uh, probably a thousand internet tough guy fights, <laughs> of which I will not take part, um, and uh, signed by Mrs. Geneva Pittman. Uh, Mrs. Pittman lived in Canton, Texas, which was just up the road uh, from where uh, I had a home for about seven years. Uh, we sold last year, but uh, spent plenty of time in Canton, East Texas, Van Zant County, and we know Brushy was uh, from that area <clears throat> as well. So um, a real true piece of the Billy the Kid puzzle, but it doesn't tell enough. You can't help thinking, gosh, Mrs. Pittman. Uh, I mean, this is 1987. You can go buy a uh, disposable camera, right? Didn't they have those? You know, you 20 pictures, you send it in, and you never get the camera back. Um, I think they probably cost about three bucks for three dollars and one and whatever the the uh, processing was, the developing of the photos. We could have had an answer. We could have seen the page in the Bible uh, that lists Oliver Roberts as being born August 26, 1879. Uh, many people still wouldn't believe it. Because they would say, oh, no, no, he adopted that name after he found his, he, he just happened to ride up on his cousin's remains in the Indian Territory and then took him home and pretended he was his cousin more than 10 years, his senior. And the cousin's family just gladly said, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, <laughs> come, come on in. Uh, we, welcome back, son. But um, it could have been solved. Is the Bible still out there? Um, did the Pittman family decide this is just not worth it? I can't imagine someone destroying a Bible, um, but I imagine it's probably under lock and key. And I imagine that the Pittman family probably doesn't really want anything more to do with this for one key reason. Nobody ever changes their mind. It just doesn't matter how much evidence is piled up how many mistakes are littered throughout the brushy bill story. No one ever changes their mind. The people that want to believe are going to believe no matter what I have people say, well, there's way more proof for brushy bill being Billy the kid than that bastard Pat Garrett's, you know, uh, uh, story full of lies. And that's false causation. If Pat Garrett lied, it doesn't make brushy bill, Billy the kid. Um, and Pat Garrett may have lied about some things, but that has not, one has nothing to do with the other. Absolutely zero. There are a thousand, a million possibilities of what could be, uh, what could be if Pat Garrett lied, but only one of those millions is that brushy bill was Billy the Kid. And when you pick that story apart and see all the mistakes and manufactured evidence, you quickly find out that brushy bill wasn't Billy the Kid. Uh, Miss Pittman certainly didn't believe so, and she would know because she lived with him. Um, but uh, what do you think? If you know where the Bible is, if you can uh, get a look at it, if we can get a photograph, if we can get a family member to come on and talk about it, um, I would love uh, I would love for that to uh, to occur. I don't know that anyone's had success with doing it, but hey, maybe we will. And uh, we can get one step closer to solving this mystery once and for all, if it's not solved beforehand, which it probably will be. And uh, the uh, wheels are turning in the machines behind the scenes. And I just got an update last week and yeah, the, yeah, the machine is processing along really, really nicely. So anyway, thanks for joining me for this episode of all things, Billy, the kid. Hey, if you're not a channel member and you'd like to be for lots of additional content, just hit the join button on the main page and uh, join the ironclad. The regulators will see you there or here on all things, Billy, the kid. Thank you.